Aloha, in this video, we will find out, if the HP Compact EC7800 USDT does support the 95 watts Core 2 Quad Q8200 CPU. In my last video, when I tried to upgrade the CPU to a Q6600, 105 watts TDP I promise, I will try. With a 95 watts TDP CPU. Now I got the 95 watts TDP CPU and I am very curious, does it works or not? For the CPU upgrade I need. The Core 2 Quad Q8295 watts TDP CPU, a flat screwdriver. Isopropyl alcohol, for cleaning the CPU and the heat sink. Thermal paste. And paper towel for cleaning the CPU and the heat sink. So let's begin the upgrade. I unplugged the cables from the PC. I press the power button for about 10 seconds, to discharge the capacitors. I unscrew the top cover and remove the top cover. This is the heat sink. I remove the cooler and with a flat screwdriver, I loose the four screws from the heat sink. I loose the screws in diagonal, I unscrew in two steps. First round I unscrew for about 50%, in the second round I unscrew all the way. That white stuff is the thermal paste on the CPU and on the heat sink. First I clean only with a dry paper towel the CPU and the heat sink, until I doesn't see the white thermal paste. After that I spray isopropyl alcohol to the paper towel and I clean till it shines. I remove the CPU. gold triangle is for align the CPU in the socket. This is the the new Core 2 Quad Q8200 CPU and I insert in the socket. The gold triangle is aligned with the socket triangle, I can close the load plate. I clean with isopropyl alcohol the CPU before I apply the thermal paste. I used the line method, usually I use the dot method, I put a dot in the middle of the CPU.
I put back the heat sink and screw in the screws in diagonal. I put back the cooler. And I plug in the mouse. The keyboard. The monitor. and the power adapter cable. The green LED is on, so I have power in the PC. Unfortunately the PC it doesn't boot. The cooler rotates for one second and then stops, like with the Q6600 CPU. I will unplug the monitor and the power adapter cable and I will reset the BIOS. Maybe after that it will boot up. I had high expectations from this 95 watts TDP CPU. I plug in the monitor and power adapter and try again. Unfortunately the PC it doesn't boot up, but I don't give up and I will try with the 65 watts TDP Q8200S CPU. Please share, comment and subscribe. See you next time, Aloga.